how are you my dear students? I'm Sir Renante Arjubilo Jr., your health teacher. Remember that health is an essential part of our life. Today, we will learn about health appraisal and screening test by demonstrating health appraisal procedures during adolescence to achieve holistic health. Through appropriate regular health checkups and screening tests, we can monitor our health status because it is very important to know the condition of your health. First, let us define health appraisal. Health appraisal refers to a series of procedures to assess or determine the health status of the students using features observations, screening tests, health histories or medical records, medical and dental inspections, and psychological tests. This time, we are going to enumerate and define the different screening tests, starting with medical exams that keeps you informed about our general status. It includes chest x-rays, urine test, blood test. Next that we have is high taking, which gives you an idea about your growth rate. To get the height, we need a tape measure or meter stick and a marker. Start by standing your back against the wall, bare feet or flat on the floor, then use the pencil to mark your highest point of your head. The third one is weight taking, wherein it keeps you aware if you are within your ideal weight. To get the weight, we need to use the weighing scale. You should stand on the weighing scale with minimal movement and your hands on your side. Make sure to remove your excess clothing and shoes. Then, we also have the vision test, which keeps you informed of your visual acuity or your ability to discern the shapes and details of the things you see. Another is the hearing test that check the ability to hear the loudness or pitch of the sound. Now, let's have the scoliosis test, which keeps you informed of any abnormal curvature of your spine. During the test, the school nurse will observe your posture for signs of scoliosis. These are the following. Number 1. One of the shoulder blades is more prominent. Number 2. The head is not aligned to the center of pelvis. Number 3. A hip appears higher or is more prominent than the other. Number 4. The rib cage is uneven. Number 5. The waist is uneven. Number 6. The entire body is leaning to one side. And lastly is the breast examination test, which is being conducted to check unusual lumps. Here is the procedure and how to examine your breast. Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Cooper, one of the breast surgeons at City of Hope. Today I'm going to talk to you about self-breast examination. Around 8 out of 10 women detect breast cancers or breast lumps themselves. Therefore, it's important that every woman understand the basics of a self-breast examination. There are actually two components, look and feel. For the first part of the exam, looking, you want to stand or sit in front of a mirror. With your clothes off, you want to look at both breasts to see if there are any differences between the two. Examine the nipples to see if there's any difference between the two. Is one redder than the other? Is one pulling in? Then you want to put your hands on your hips and turn from side to side to see if there are any changes. While standing, you actually want to put your arms forward on your hips because this will bring out lumps that might not appear otherwise. It's important to raise both arms above the head. This will draw out any puckering or dimpling for masses that might be underneath the nipple. If you're standing like this and you have a mass that's kind of in the lower part, you might not see it at all. But when you raise your arms, what happens is that mass kind of stays and then the skin kind of pulls in as you're pulling up. That was the first part of the examination. For the second part, you want to be lying down. You want to put your head on a pillow to prop yourself up and place one arm behind your head. 
Then with your other hand, you want to use your first three fingers. When you use only one finger or two fingers, you can actually separate the breast tissue and think that you feel something that isn't there. You can do this one of two ways. You can either go in a circular motion all the way around the breast, making sure that you overlap every area, or you can go up, down, all the way across. I prefer the circular motion. From the collarbone to the sternum or mid-chest, below the breast, and then all the way actually out into the underarm. Lymph nodes are underneath the underarm, and sometimes those can become bigger. When you're doing the breast examination, you're looking for things that feel different from the surrounding tissue. What you're looking for is something that stands out, something that feels like a pea or a marble or a walnut. You want to make sure that you do this examination at the same time each month. Remember, the most important thing about a breast self-examination is to know your breast. That way you can note any changes and alert your doctor. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this lesson. Now, let's find out if you can identify the screening test being described in each sentence. Number one, it gives an idea about your growth rate. Correct, it's height taking. Number two, it keeps you informed of your visual acuity or your ability to discern the shapes and details of things you see. Great. It's a vision test. Number three, it keeps you informed of any abnormal curvature of your spine. Very good. The answer is scoliosis test. Number four, this test is being conducted to check unusual lumps. Great job. It's breast examination test. Lastly, number five. This test checks the ability to hear the loudness or pitch of the sound. You've got it right. It's hearing test. I believe that you have learned a lot today. Once again, this is Sir Renan Terribili Jr., your health teacher, saying that healthy engagement to an active lifestyle will take us to happiness. Good day everyone and see you next time.